Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So we got some uh, hop-ups for the uh, Egress and Avant 2011. These are the Yeah Racing front aluminium hubs. Part number is TAV006BK. Guessing BK because these are the black ones. So let's bring in for a close-up look and see how these uh, See if these hubs fit on the new Egress Black Edition. Right, so, first off, we're going to get these open. So, as soon as you take these hubs out, they've zip-tied them together, so they don't get all uh, scratched up, which is quite nice. So, we'll separate them. I think, looking at it, uh, it's not that long since I built this, but I think that is the way they go on. They're not marked L or R, so I think we'll have them fitted. I think it's that way with the arms facing backwards. So, first thing we're going to want to do is drop our front wheels off. Let's start by just removing the wheel nuts. And it shouldn't be too bad of a job, this. So, the next thing we're going to want to do is remove our hexes. And drop the little drive pins out. So that's nice and easy. Next thing, I think we're going to have to pop the little tie rods off. Should be fairly easy. Then we're going to use our JIS screwdrivers and we're going to be removing the kingpin bolts on both sides. And then you're going to want to flip the RC over and we're going to want to remove both the king pins on this side. And as opposite side. And I think these, these plastic ones were one of the few bits that I thought these kind of look really weak on this RC. So, once we've got them removed, you should just be able to pop them off. But you should just be able to slide both sides out. And don't worry if it leaves the bearing on. And for some reason, I've got that little spacer. I think it's off the top of the suspension. Yeah. So, the little spacer on top. Just make sure they don't fall off. I wondered what it would do in stuck to the side at drive shaft. So, once we've got them removed, you should have the tiny little ball joints, and you're going to have to screw these off, and you should be able to push it straight out. And then you've got the bearing, which you're also going to have to remove. So, if we then fit the bearing back in the front then these are threaded now so it's entirely up to you if you want to put the lock nut back on just to keep an eye on it so you know where it is they are now going to hold in really tight and if you really wanted to you can put the little lock nut back on just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere but they're going to be held on pretty solid now remember your little spacer on the top so you should just be able to slide these back into position and then your bearing will carefully slide inside it. And then we've got to get this little shim underneath. So you should be able to carefully line it up and then drop your kingpin back through making sure you go through the middle of that spacer. So 
So once you've got that in, you can tighten your king pin down. And it should be nice and free movement wise. Then you should be able to pop your steering arm back on. Then we've got to put the other kingpin bolt back in. So may as well start with the other side. That way we're not flipping it over and losing as little spacer. So first off again, you're gonna have to get this little ball joint out. And straight away I can tell these are substantially stronger than uh, the standard setup. Even down to the way that you now got proper threads to hold this ball joint in. And I really don't think you'd need to put this locking nut back on but I'm just going to drop it on so it stays with the uh, RC. So once we've got that in place, bearing will need to go in the outside, so we can just drop that out, pop your bearing in, then you're going to want to line it up, make sure your drive shaft's not trying to fall out your vehicle, so you don't want it coming out at diff, slide your bearing into place, And you should be able to slide your drive shaft in. And you want to get it lined up. Once you've got the hub lined up with your spacer, you should then be able to drop it through and get it tightened up. to pop his arm back on then if you flip the RC over and this is really weird because I've just seen on the screen that looks bright pink and from my angle that looks dark green but then we're looking to fit our kingpin bolts back in and remember don't over tighten these because they're quite fine thread even though you're going into aluminium and it is quite high quality, the aluminium part that Tammy has used. You don't want to overdo it. Because we don't want to be stripping threads. But they are really a really nice fit so far. So let's see if we can finish this off. This will be a lot easier for you guys. Because you're not trying to get it to show up on camera. And you can line it up from the side you can actually see. But we've got us pin back in that side and as hex drive. So we now need to get us pin and drive back in this side. And then just a quick check to make sure everything's free, nothing's binding up. And then we can pop his wheels back on. Now you may have to readjust how you've got the steering set up. Where they fasten to the steering arm if the geometry is exactly the same as the original plastic Tamiya part. But we shall soon see when I get the other wheel back on. So that's one in place. Yeah, it doesn't look, doesn't look like it's altered it at all, which is nice. So there we have it. Nicely fitted hubs. Everything's gone back into place, nothing's binding, doesn't look like it's affected the suspension setup at all. So yeah, the Yeah Racing front hubs, part number TAV006BK, looks like successfully fit the uh, Egress Black Edition. So, let's wrap this one on. 
So there you have it, the Yet Racing front hubs. Really nice upgrade from these plastic ones. They, they do feel pretty brittle compared to basically all the rest of it. The arms feel a lot less brittle than what these hubs do. And with how thin they are, I'm, I'm kind of wondering if you drove it, how long they'd last. But the yeah, racing parts, definitely a massive upgrade. Um, nice smooth steering, not affected suspension at all. So, yeah, really happy with them. It seems to fit the car more. Nice high quality metal hubs with the hub carriers that come with the car. Um, as on most RCs, I'd leave the arms plastic, even if they were metal replacements, because you want somewhere with a bit of flex in it. But hopefully you find that useful or entertaining or a bit of both. But thanks again for watching WTF RC Cars. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, share to friends and family, and uh, catch you guys again in the next one.